Hi, this is Mike with Comfile Technology, and in this video, I'm going to give a brief introduction and demonstration of the Comfile HMI, Comfile Technology's new HMI development kit. The Comfile HMI development kit consists of a Comfile HMI touchscreen panel PC, one of several different models shown here, and the Comfile HMI editor software. Using the Comfile HMI editor software, the user can draw widgets on the screen customize their appearance, and edit their I.O. control properties. After a project is created, it can be deployed over USB to the Comfile HMI panel PC where it will execute providing an operator with a touchscreen interface to a machine. We'll now go through the steps necessary to set up one's development environment. First, we need to insert the SD card into the Comfile HMI panel PC, turn it on, and connect it to the PC via USB. We can then install the USB drivers and install Windows Mobile Device Center so the PC can communicate with the Comfile HMI panel PC. Finally, we can install the Comfile HMI editor software. First, we need to take the panel PC and insert the micro SD card. Next, we can supply power to the panel PC, and it will immediately boot. Now, if no project is currently deployed to the panel PC, the system screen will appear. Next, we can connect the USB cable to connect the panel PC to the development PC. Once the panel PC is connected to the development PC via USB, the Windows driver installation will begin. The drivers will download automatically from Windows Update. And once downloaded, they'll begin to install. Now after the initial driver is installed, Windows Mobile Device Center will begin installing. Again, it will be downloaded from Windows Update automatically. And once installed, you'll see the Comfile HMI is ready to be used. Once the drivers are installed, go to Comfile Technologies website and download the installer for the Comfile HMI editor software. Run the installer and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation. In an effort to demonstrate the development process, we will create this simple HMI. It consists of a Comfile Technology MSB PLC with four buttons wired to its inputs and four LED lamps wired to its outputs. The buttons on the Comfile HMI will toggle the physical lamps, while the physical buttons connected to the MSB will toggle the lamps on the Comfile HMI. We'll begin by creating a new project. In the New Project dialog window, we can create a new folder where our project files will be stored. In this case, we'll name the folder Demo. We select the Comfile HMI Panel PC model. Our MSB is a Qblock based device and we'll be using Modbus RTU. It's connected to the Comfile HMI serial port 1 and we'll give the PLC a meaningful name. Now with the project created, we can add a new screen. Our screen will have a dark gray gradient color to it. And we'll add a little bit of noise to the gradient in order to give it the appearance of texture. Now 
Now the first thing we'll do is add some text to our screen. Change the font size, the text color, and these will be our MSB outputs. We'll add a horizontal line as a visual separator. Customize the line's thickness, its color, and resize it until it appears perfectly horizontal. We'll align these items horizontally on the screen. And now we can cut and paste them for our inputs. Now we'll add our buttons to the screen. We draw them on the screen, open properties window, and change its style and color. We can copy and paste this button to the other three locations. and change each of the button's individual colors. And we can do the same thing for the lamps. Draw them on the screen. Change their style and color. Copy and paste to the other three locations. and change the individual colors. Now we can change the Modbus communication properties for each of the buttons. The first button will toggle address 32. The second button address 33. The third button, address 34. And the fourth button, address 35. The red lamp will be bound to input 8, the yellow lamp to input 9, the green lamp to input 10, and the blue lamp to input 11. Now from within the com file HMI editor, we can simulate the project on the development PC. First, we'll connect the PLC to the development PC's serial port. 
From the COM file HMI editor's toolbar, run the simulator. In the simulator window that appears, we can verify the functionality of our HMI. Pressing the buttons in our HMI turns on the lamps on our device. Pressing the physical buttons on our device turns on the lamps in our HMI. Now that we've verified the functionality in the simulator, we can connect the COM file HMI panel PC to the PLC and deploy the project to the COM file HMI panel PC. The project will immediately begin executing and we can see that it functions as expected. And that concludes our demonstration. For more information, please visit us at comfiletech.com and thanks for watching.